you know, just kind of looking at the landscape now and thinking about a lot of this stuff, because that was the message that was very clear to me yesterday. America thinks the 49ers are the best team. And by the way, I can make this argument. That's not a great thing for Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy and everybody involved. John Lynch, Jed York, it's not a great thing. I'm not trying to make the point like, yay, we win the emotional derby. Right? Who cares? I know you don't care. I don't care. I don't want to be the best team. I want to be the last team. So I don't care if everybody thinks they're the best team. I just find it interesting that they do. And what that also means is added pressure if you don't end up winning the whole thing because America thinks that you should. They do. And, yeah, I mean, America thinks you should beat Philadelphia on the road. You're favored at Philadelphia, the team with the best record in football. So if that doesn't tell you what America thinks in terms of, you know, your likelihood to win this game. So you win this game. You beat Philadelphia. Then you're going to be favored against Seattle, probably double digits oh, for at, sure. home. at home. And then you look at every other game, and you're going to be favored. I know you've got Arizona again. you got L.A., and you've got Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah, I wonder what the look ahead is on that. How far ahead do they go? They go all the way through. I'll see if I can find yeah, it. See if I you would, can find a look ahead on Niners hosting the Ravens Christmas Christmas Day, Christmas night. I would night. bet that they are favored by five right now, Jeez. but I'll find it. Dude, Baltimore's fantastic. Now... Um, they've also had some, you know, a lot of it is the way things go at the end of football games. Like I don't hold it against Philadelphia, Philadelphia. I am overwhelmingly impressed. Like their last five weeks to beat Miami, to win at Washington, to beat Dallas, to beat Kansas city, to beat Buffalo. I don't care what the games looked like, where it sort of looked like they might lose, but then they didn't, they get credit for that. I'm incredibly, incredibly impressed by it. But it feels to me like odds makers take this into account. Because, again, the first response I got when I sent out the text, why are the Niners favored, was better power ranking. Right. And my first thought was, power ranking? What Do you work for Yahoo now? <laughs> like, what do you mean better power ranking? But what he means is, you know, the odds makers are not willy-nilly. This is billions of dollars. Right. They're looking deep into the metrics of position by position and what the matchups should lead to, and they're telling you that the Niners are essentially better across the board at all the positions. I mean, for me, the big matchup, I think the Eagles have the best offensive line in football. I think the Niners have the best defensive line in football. That's the one that I can't wait to see. Who's pushing who around when the Eagles have the ball? Right. That's what I want to see this week. And that's, I think, ultimately what it comes down to in any game. But if you just look at the the raw numbers of plus minus after 11 games, the Eagles are plus 64 after 11 games. The Niners are plus 140. Yep. They're number two in football. The only team ahead of the Niners is the team they beat by 32 points. Which is crazy. Right. Because so, what, what is the Cowboys point differential if you remove the Niner game? They are uh, 194 because they're 162 Jeez. and they lost by 32 to the Niners. Right. So that that would put them at 194 if that game was a tie. If it was a tie. Let's just say that game was a tie, Unreal. one of the rare ties, which would mean that the Niners then would be 108. And the Niners would still be number two in football, I believe, other than, you know, they're ahead of Philadelphia. They'd be behind Baltimore if that game was a tie. But right, right now they're ahead of Baltimore by three points. And they're trailing only the team they beat by 32 points, which is remarkable when you think about the power rankings of just raw points. It's insane. It's insane. But the Eagles have also been the ones playing the first place schedule, so they've had to do all kinds of things that the Cowboys have not. I don't know about you. It feels like the Cowboys play the Giants like every other week. Right. It really does. And the Eagles, meantime, are like, we'll take on the Chiefs. We'll take on the Bills. We've got to play the Dolphins. Have the Cowboys had to play any of these teams? Not yet. I don't even know if they play them at all. So, I mean, they must. They're matched, they're matched up against the AFC East, right? But they've only gotten to play the Jets and Patriots so far. So, you know, maybe they're going to get their come up in here. Yeah. With they have the, the Eagles and the Bills in back-to-back -back weeks coming up. Yeah, they play That's the Dolphins? Dallas. Does Dallas play Miami? Dallas. Uh, or did they already? Am they I forgetting? Play no, they go uh they go Seattle, Philly, Buffalo, Miami, Jeez. Detroit. <laughs> that's their That's insane. That's their gauntlet. So okay. 
Up next, they've got uh, Seattle at home on Thursday. Short week. Or actually, it's a full week for Dallas because they played on Thursday. Right. And it's a full week oh, for Seattle. Dallas and Seattle is this Thursday? This Thursday. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, so oh. Seattle played on Thursday. It's a full week for both. Even rest for Seattle at Dallas. And then they have an extended break before they host Philadelphia. Then they go at Buffalo, at Miami, home to Detroit, <laughs> and then home to Washington. Which, I mean, the commanders are... Yeah. That's tough. That's tough. Um, that's, that's quite a schedule. So wait, did I just hear correct... Philly will two weeks in a row play a really good team who played Thursday the week before. In other words, the Niners get 10 days rest and then the Cowboys get 10 days rest. Is that correct? Uh, Right. Yeah, exactly. The Cowboys play on Thursday and then they don't play again until Sunday. All right. I'm going to play a parlay right now and tell you that the Eagles are going to be 10 and three in uh, 13 days. They're going to lose to the Niners and then lose to... Dallas. And I actually would argue that that's what the point spread betters will tell you is going to happen. I think the Cowboys will be favored against Philadelphia next week. In Dallas, yeah. Yep, yep. I sure do. I yeah, sure do. Dallas should beat Seattle uh, on You'd Thursday. Think. And then they're going to be the more rested team. Right. And I, and I think that the metrics right now, which is what odds makers use a lot, are going to tell you that Dallas is the better team than Philadelphia. I know they've played already once this year. Very, very close game in Philly. Philly wins it. That's what they do. So, listen, I'm not here to say anything bad about the Philadelphia Eagles. I think they're fantastic. They've proven it. They went to the Super Bowl last year. Kind of felt like they had that game. They blew it. And then you get to this year, and they're 10-1, and and their schedule has been as hard as anyone's. I don't know how you can take shots at Philadelphia. All I know is that you look around, and the odds makers and the public just came up with a very clear message yesterday. Great. Niners are better. That was the message I got. Right. So um, it's a Monster Monday. It's brought to you by First 5 California to learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress. Go to first5california.com. Want the, uh, want the weather report? Sure. Okay. Cold, I would bet. Not that cold. No. I mean, it's a Sunday afternoon game, 425 start Philadelphia. Okay. So it'll be cold by the time yeah. they get to the it's second It's cold half. out here, 34 um, this morning. So you're looking at a high of 52 and a low of 46. All right, not bad. Not bad. On no that. rain? Mm-hmm. Got rain? Uh, you have got right now a 58% chance of a uh, precipitation sensation. Mm, boy. Yeah. Brock doesn't want that. He can't uh, handle a wet ball. Considerable cloudiness with occasional rain showers. High of 52. Winds out of the northeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain sits at 60%.